Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 117, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We uh, finally made our way to Dantooine, the, the place where we were supposed to find the last master before we reconvene things, and uh, we were out and about exploring after being identified as a Jedi, despite trying to, uh, well, I mean, we really did Take try to keep things under the radar. It hasn't worked out so well. So let's take on these cathounds real quick and then uh, and then we'll get to the business of uh, doing some business. Maybe maybe there's a way to like persuade or force persuade our way out of this situation once we get the opportunity. But first let's earn a little XP and uh, Oh! Well, hello, Beastie. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Alright. There we go. Knock it back. Stun him! Okay. I still think you should be able to loot some stakes out of this guy or something. Alright. I mean... All we were originally trying to do is fill out the map a little bit, but... Oh yeah, I guess I did take a little bit of damage on that last one. Sorry, regen will take care of that. This will be over soon. <laughs> one pass of the lightsaber and most of his health is gone. Yeah, buddy. No. Nothing to loot. Nothing to loot. Before we went to our break and whatnot, I was commenting on how they did a really good job of making sure that they used... Alright, so that's the Enclave Courtyard. We won't go there yet. Because we need to talk to the Administrator first anyway. Uh, and find out if anything ever came of the mechanic overhearing the droid say that we were a Jedi. Uh... I still hope we can kind of persuade or force persuade our way out of things there. But we'll see. Okay, is that everything? That's everything to find over here. So we've explored out that west wing. Let's uh, let's get the rest of the map in the middle. And then, uh, and then we'll figure out where to go from there. Oh, before I forget, let's go ahead and switch back. Oh, yeah. You just got two blasters and looking for a fight. This guy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I gotta remember, I forgot to take note that this is 117. So I don't lose track and accidentally do too few or too many episodes or whatever it is. Whichever way I'm gonna make the same mistake again this time. Uh, that... That's probably the main door. So we'll circle back. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the main door to the estate. Because uh, a lot of this is... Because, again, this is based off of the way the game played out. So that's the estate where we had our our little Hatfield and McCoy thing going. And we, we pretty much helped two Starcross lovers go find a new life. Or at least that's the way I played it out. Uh, in the first one, we got... I don't remember the defense turrets being there, but, you know. Some remodeling has apparently occurred since the Sith Wars. And we were here last as, uh... Revan. Restored or otherwise. Well, I mean... It'd be unneighborly for me to, uh... Leave this, uh... Cluttered, right? Yeah, just checking the lock. And, uh, sure. Nope, nobody's complaining. Alright. Yeah, I, I forgot that. <laughs> I, I didn't, well, not forgot. I didn't realize that the guy would complain about us, uh, looting that box next to him. I should have known. I should have known. Ooh, some field armor. Probably also known as parts. I mean, realistically, I wouldn't be having some of the problems I'm having if I sold some stuff. 
You know, because uh, one of the problems I'm running into is I need credits. Uh, the the crafting system has been a benefit and a drawback. The benefit is you can really customize and build some awesome weapons and armor. The drawback is that a lot of weapons and armor that I'd normally sell for the money goes into um, go, goes into uh, being broken down for parts. That's right. This is the back door that took me in there, and. I don't think my first act needs to be to run in the back door. Uh, that might come about later, but uh, we'll see. Let's uh, let's check things over here first. All right, are we about to trigger a cutscene? So we got that militia guy and Dylan. You'll find little welcome here, Jim. Uh, for your okay. own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. Uh... Okay, so I get a couple of Force Persuade options. One will be to answer, one will be to hush. Um... At this point, I don't know that a Force Persuade to hush is really going to change anything meaningful. So let's not do that, and let's just go with, could you please answer some of my questions I first? Your questions. Uh, tell me about the administrator. She was the agricultural administrator okay. of Dantooine. Okay. Never mind. She's not going to give me any more questions. I had a rumor that the administrator met with a Jedi. Oh. That's true, I'll quit. I'm not going to work for someone that associates with them. Yep, yep. Don't mind me. All right, into the <laughs> into the heart of the Edmund. Let's see. Do they keep I think the Tarn oh. is finally cracked, running around like a madman, raving that he was being chased by a Jedi. Oh, Tarn is an idiot to be sure, but he seemed genuinely frightened, and perhaps he did see something. Okay, maybe it's you a good thing. You actually believe a Jedi would return here after all they've done to us? Mm. They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were? Always so superior, oh. so arrogant. And never lending a hand um. when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears <laughs> he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding okay. anywhere. Well, I so hope we're it's at true. like QAnon levels of Star Wars. And we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Uh. Well, okay then. The salvages keep coming here and bothering the militia. That Garavik is the worst of them. Hmm. If it weren't for the Jedi, we'd be a prosperous community. They brought us nothing but trouble. Uh, sure. All right, so far the layout's looking about the same. I'm not going to start opening doors just yet. So we got that wall. We got the door we came in. We got that wall. Let's, uh... Okay, yep, there are the two main halls. So let's uh let's talk to the receptionist first before we go Welcome blundering through Kunda. doors. You're a salvager, right? Mm hmm You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Alright. Uh Do you know who Gervik is? Gervik let's start is a there. Salvager, the worst one of the lot. Try to stay clear of him. He's a dangerous one to cross. Okay. Where's the administrator? Her office is directly behind this room. You really can't miss it. She can see you now if you like. Okay. Why does everybody think I'm a salvager? The only heavily armed people that visit us are either salvages or mercenaries. And you don't look quite gritty enough to be a mercenary. It's the robes, isn't it? All right. What do you have in Kunda? The things that would most interest you are our weapon merchant, Anzeron, the leader of our militia. A carry is still around here somewhere too. Uh, he sells wait. droid components. Which uh where can I find the weapon shop? Just I like weapon shop. Corridor and make a right. His shop okay. is the first on the right. And why would I need to see Zeron? If you get into any trouble, he's the person you uh, contact. Okay. Unfortunately, recent problems with the salvagers and mercenaries have kept him quite busy. So I guess that's where uh, all the quest stuff is, huh? Where can I find Zern? He's at the militia headquarters. 
Just make a right at the central corridor. Okay. And the headquarters is one of the rooms furthest in the back. Uh, recent problems like what? The mercenaries cause disruptions for some of our outlying settlers. Oh. They are a constant source of friction for us. I hear the salvagers are having some internal problems too. Uh, can you go into more detail? No, I couldn't. If you're really oh. interested in that, just speak to Zeron. Okay, I'll get there. Uh, what exactly is Kunda? We hope it will become the new center of government for the Sars. Ah, okay. The administrator has been trying to organize us in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Not a very big building for a center of government. We're a small group of settlers on the edge of Republic space. The building isn't large, but it's only the beginning. Okay, I'd like to ask you about something Certainly. else. What do you want to know? Uh... Her office is directly... By okay. I, I guess that's all the questions I'm going to get. Let's, uh, make our way through. Zeron keeps goading the mercenaries. I think he should let the little things slide. He's making things worse for everyone. Your luck is huh. not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship. Yes. No friendly greetings I hear for you. Oh. Uh... My ship isn't battered. Act like I have insulted your woman. <laughs> your ship I haven't seen. But if it takes after you, it can't be in perfect condition. I Wait. am done being inconvenient. What's that supposed to mean? You. That's right. Garavik was uh Okay. Yeah. Okay, Garavik was the uh the Another interruption. You must not have heard who I am. Yeah, I've heard who you are. This time, not mine. Someone less important. Dude, don't don't get started on this. You, you ain't gonna like where it ends. All right. So this uh, this does appear to be the same ah, basic setup. You have called ah. me. Have I not told you that I don't like hmm. interruptions? Now, this is a disruption that is most welcomed. This news bears some thought. You have done well. Okay. This so he's going to be after me now, isn't he? Do not interrupt me again. Preparations need to be made. Another was not yeah. expected. Yeah, okay. So he's after the bounty on my head. All right. As I was saying, that should be... The main entrance. That's going to go back outside. Uh, who's this what guy? What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. Oh. Uh. And who are you? Well, call me a defective protocol droid. Mm -hmm. uh, manners. Right. I'm Barun Modril. I'm Captain Zeron's right-hand man. I help run the militia here. Ah, well, okay. that makes it sound more important than I am. Zeron takes a hands-on role in running the militia. If you have any real trouble, you'd have to go to him anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, is being hands-on a good thing? Uh, this is okay. sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he gotcha. expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit okay, more freedom. Okay, so I see so what we're setting like up. it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's going to fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just so war veterans. Here's that conflict that uh, but Zeron just keeps poking. We're going to get drawn so into get one way or the other. To make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. Uh, can't anyone do something about it with some people? If you give them a little room, they'll take a lot more. Yeah, let's start with that one. Dantooine has had mercenaries on it for years. I've talked with some, and they're not unreasonable. There's got to be some sort of compromise we can both live with. That's fair. You can't bargain with a Rancor. Most people seem to think the mercenaries are up to something. I hear they've been making a lot of mischief. Yeah, let's go with that one. 
We haven't been able to prove the mercenaries have done anything terribly wrong. And I believe them. Um, I don't think they're involved. The well, if you believe them, I got a, I get a bridge to sell you it's too. It's just dangerous. I think we should be working on getting along. You're not it's necessarily wrong about that. that have you make things worse. Uh, let's try the persuade. That's a good way of looking at it. I may not agree with the captain, but I guess I should make everyone fall in line. There we I go. I still worry that he may provoke the mercenaries into something more dangerous. But I suppose he may know something I don't. Thanks. All right. Seems like Tantooine's had a lot of trouble. I don't even want to get into it. Uh, ask around if you want to know the details. Yeah, everybody says Just ask around, but nobody wants to actually it. answer it. I don't know what we do oh, man. Administrator Adare. Such she a sensitive to topic. A lot of I don't want to talk about it. You should ask around. A war. Says everybody She's I've talked to. Together. Oh, and hmm. uh, Zeron too, I suppose. Uh, sounds like you don't approve. Okay, never mind. That's just going to take us down the hands-on thing again. Uh, I've got a few questions about the other people in the settlement then. I'll tell you anything that's public knowledge. <laughs> Most militia news passes by me and Zeron. Okay, see so the standing help. water cooler. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, I've heard rumors there's a Jedi around here. I've heard that rumor too. People get really riled up about Jedi around here. Some people seem to have a selective memory. During the war, the Jedi were a big help here. They did everything for us, from clearing out dangerous <laughs> One of our quests in the first game. Murder Another one of our quests in I there. I try to stay out of it, though. Standing up for Jedi is one way to become unpopular around here. Okay. Uh, doing what's right isn't always popular. If no one says anything on their behalf, the rumor can feed on itself. The Jedi is a blight. I'd like, uh... Yeah, doing what's right isn't always popular. <laughs> Easy to say for someone that doesn't live here. I'd rather grab an unshielded power coupling than get involved in that debate. Man, the militia's dealing with is enough already. that? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try the persuade. <sighs> You're not wrong there. For what good it'll do if it comes up, I'll say what I think is right. You happy? I hope so. You may be my only friend in a few days. Talking about Jedi is just depressing these days. Any other cheerful problems you want to talk about? Well, uh, I want to visit the ruins of the Enclave. You should see Administrator Adare about that. She'll be able to set you up. <laughs> You're not a typical salvager. No, so no, I'm not a typical salvager. There. All right, I'd like to talk about something I'm else. What else we got? What do you need? Uh, other people? I'll tell you anything that's public knowledge. Most militia news passes by me and Zeron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. might be able to help. All right, um... I'm here to help. What do you need? No. Okay. Looks like that's right. it. We've exhausted our options. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll stay out of trouble now. Yep. That's me. A pro. And staying out of trouble. All right. So, uh, Adam Larp. What are we larping? Oh, wrong Larp. Oh, okay. This is the arms guy. Gotcha. Hm. A simple merchant with noble purpose. Yeah. Simple. Just like I'm a simple traveler. Alright, so, uh, what's your mission? Overcome their troubles, they must be able to defend themselves. Okay. Therefore, I offer the highest call. You know. I'm trying to remember. Is this the same Rodian that was in the uh, the first Knights of the Old Republic selling the stuff out of the back of a speeder? Because I'm pretty sure he's the same guy selling stuff out of the back of a speeder. Alright. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, how long have you been here? During the Civil War. Okay. I worked hard on my missions by helping the hardy settlers, but things got bad for the humans. Okay. So this is the same guy that was selling stuff out of the back end of a feeder. Alright. Sith invaded and killed a lot of Jedi. Settlers were arrested and executed. Okay. Quality weapons at low prices. Regular Walmart. Humanitarian. Mm -hmm. More arms are needed, huh? I, I know somebody who might be able to work with you on that one. Uh, Alright, what do you know about the mercenaries? They're looking for work, but they get restless. If they get too restless, they are dangerous. It's best to be well-armed. Yeah, I'm noticing a theme here. The arms merchant is reminding us why it's important to be well-armed. Do you not see these guns? Alright, nice banter. You try the same line on everyone? Okay. At least you acknowledge it. So, why are there so many... Kinrath and Cathounds around. Because brave humans do not buy enough of my weapons, but even with my good weapons, I fear they are not enough sentience to use them. Uh -huh. Well, Cathounds. Uh, Kinrath have been burrowing. Okay. Oh, 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 that's right. I think this is where we can get another one of those thorium charges. I hope so. Because remember, on the Mandalorian moon of Dixon, we uh, we had that door that we could only blow open with thorium charges, and we kind of used them on the Sith Temple, the last set we found. All right, so what sorts of stuff do we have here? Uh, some of this is probably going to take a little while to go through. Like, uh, all the advanced med pack and the antidote kit. Ooh, dark Jedi Knight robes, kind of nice, except, uh, it, it's not going to be, nah, everybody's got about the same or better. Each any heavy armor, not as good as what people have. Oh, look, another Gamoran's cleaver. Uh, the Trandoshan swords are nice, but again, not upgradable. Alright, these are your basic. I can make those. There's no point in spending that kind of money. Although, if I had the parts, that wouldn't be a bad way to get the money, would it? Make a bunch of Ryak blades and uh, sell those? Because, I mean, if they're going for 9k a pop, that might solve my credits problem. At the expense of parts, but, uh, you know... We'll see. Uh, Rodian Deathblade, Vipera Swords, Force Spikes. Um, okay. That's not the best crystal you can put in a lightsaber, but I got enough people that don't have any crystals that I'm tempted, but I have a funny feeling I'm going to find a bunch here because they, at least in the first Knights of the Old Republic, uh, you headed here after the, the introductory bit on Terrace. And uh, there was a cave you went into that grew crystals. And you came out with a bunch of them. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's about what's going to happen again. Uh, they're probably going to be on par with this or better. So I'm going to hold off on that. Sith Disruptor's nice. But I think everybody's got, uh, everybody's got some guns that are better than that. Yeah, like... I mean, I love the Unstoppable, but 2 to 9 is a lot better than 1 to 6. And, but, yeah, no. Nah. There's a... Yeah, there's a fair amount here that, that would be kind of nice, but... No, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything that, uh... Ooh. Nah... Perception Globes? Okay, I'm not seeing anything that immediately stands out as a must-need-to-buy, so let's close that for now. We'll come back to him later, after we've done a little bit of inventory management and all that. Alright, private door. Knock, knock. Nope. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, this must be the militia guy. I heard a rumor that the administrator met with a Jedi. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's do this conversation and then I'll take a break. I'm a militia captain here. Are you here because you're in trouble or looking for it? <laughs> wow, I've had a spot of trouble, yes. Uh, I prefer to call it a challenge, neither. I can't seem to avoid getting in trouble. I'm looking for it for the proper price. Uh, neither. I see. Well, what's your reason for coming to militia Hello. headquarters? Militia chief has a gravelly voice. All right. Um, I wanted to see if anyone needed a hand. I'm looking for information. No, let's let's try to offer a hand first. Rare thing a visitor wanting to help out. Looks to me like you're here to explore the Jedi ruins. Why, whatever would you we mean have by that? A thing or two that need doing. If you seriously want to help, just ask about it. Or any other questions you might have. You want something? <laughs> that sounds like a loaded question. Like, I, I need the Clint Eastwood squint. You want something? Okay. Uh, what sort of work do you have? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. Okay. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. <laughs> we have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I'd okay. take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. Okay. Uh, how much is the reward? No. Okay. Why? Well, all right. We've already asked about the whys and whatnot from enough people. So, what do you know about the cave? We used some explosives to seal the cave a couple years back. Just made them angrier. Hmm. They burrowed another entrance even closer. Okay, so this is how they justify they moving the... In there too. Okay. So the salvages once thought we do want to get to the crystal cave credits. before too long. Too many Kinrath, though. Cave is on the southeast side of the plains. Okay. Shouldn't be hard to find. Uh, alright. Let's ask him why. Kinrath are normally just pests. We think something happened to their nest. Started near the end of the Civil War. Nobody knows for sure. Even the Athorian. And they're smart hmm. about such things. Okay. What do you know about the cave? How much? Alright, I'll see what I can do. That's all I can ask. You want something? You want something? Uh, what about Garavik's connection to the militia? Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. Uh, it's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so some <laughs> salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. Garavik says he won the whole claim. I bet he Zon did. Came at the last survivor, right before he killed him. But that was a fair fight. There were witnesses, mm -hmm. but nobody remembers Garavik ever playing Bazak. I just hope someone <laughs> takes this blasted claim off my hands. I'm tired of those low lives pestering me. We've got real work to do. I might be able to do something about that too. Uh, can I ask you some more general questions? You really should talk to Baroon about general questions. How's the militia doing? There are more than a dozen of us, and ah. too many problems. I see how this is going. That the Republic sends help. We gotta help ourselves. All right. What do you know about the administrator? She's smart. She gets things done. The whole place would fall apart without her. Dan Tween isn't the center of much of anything. Our most talented people sometimes leave. Okay. But for someone to stay a farmer when they have the itch to do something greater. So we're lucky the administrator never went elsewhere. I bet she'd make a decent <laughs> senator even. All right. Um, let's skip to... Oh, no. Let's go ahead. It's Ask all the questions. Might be the start of an honest capital someday. Right now, it's not much more than a swoop bike stop. <laughs> okay. And what about the mercenaries? I don't have anything to say about that. Okay. Um. You want something? What other options we got? That's it. Okay. Nice. So that gave us the cave crawling. Um. All right, and we still got that new trade routes thing, so we got to finish uh, stabilizing the situations. 
But uh, before we do anything else, it's time for a little break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.